Hey everybody, it's uh, Mr. Lundquist here. It is Monday morning. And I actually wasn't planning on sending this out, um, but I know that there were, uh, kind of got me there some questions floating around social media. And please know, you can always come right to the source. Um, sometimes Facebook and social media won't always have the answers or all the details. So emailing me is always a great, or Ms. Corker Nervous Nest Time is a great way to get answers pretty quickly um, and get all the information needed. So what you can see here is I'm actually sharing out essentially our, our, our final schedule. I'm going to talk a little bit about this because some of the concern is about the space in the cafeteria, and I'm, I want to present this. So tomorrow, students are running all eight classes. There's no stat tomorrow. Two lunches. Um, classes run about 47 minutes. That's just to get review, uh, share any information uh, that is needed. What you see at the bottom here is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday schedule. And so what I want to do is I'm actually going to kind of zoom in on that part of it because I think that's where I want to give people a little bit of a, you know, just here we go. So you can see down here um, that, let's get down here, here we go. Um, on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, there are three finals and then there's a lunch in there. And you're probably wondering, man, that's just what's happening. So one of the things that we have shared with teachers this past week is that if you're planning to continue instruction, because some teachers are just doing instruction during this week and they're not doing a finals, which is just fine by me. Um, some teachers have a culminating project that is looking to capture all the information needed regarding essential learning outcomes of the course for students to show learning. That would be a final or a presentation or a project sharing of some sort. They have that here. There are some classes where um, it's a project, but they're just handing it in. There is no presentation. And to minimize people in the building, we're telling, we've told teachers it's up to them and they are, they'll be sharing this out if they haven't already with their students, if they need to be in their final period of that day. So for instance, if I have first period, I have a final with a teacher and they tell me, you know what, it's a project, you're handing it in, you don't need to be here for the fi first period final. On Wednesday, I don't have to be in the building until 9.45 or until probably before that because you have a second period final. If I had study hall, you don't need to be in the building. So during study halls, you don't need to be in the building. Um, if your teacher has told you that there is not going to be a um, act something actually happening during one of those uh, periods, you don't need to be here. And then students will actually be, um, once they get done, they're allowed to leave. And when I say leave, I mean leave the building. It's either be in the classroom or leave the building. It's not wander the building, hang out in bathrooms, which is apparently this gross trend that happens here. Um, hanging out in the bathrooms or um, in the cafeteria. That, that, that's not what this is about. This is about either leaving the building or staying in the classroom. So that will also reduce it. One of the big things I do want to provide information for is around lunch. Now, there's some concern that lunch is one lunch um, and it's 45 minutes long. And where are we possibly going to fit everybody? Historically, looking back years, um, students, because what we allow is for 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders to leave for lunch. So uh, 9th through 12th can leave for lunch if they so choose. Um, they just need to be back, uh, obviously, for their, their next final, which begins at 12.10. Um, but they are excused for lunch. They can all leave. This is not like normal days where it's just juniors and seniors. Finals week, it's 9th through 12th grade. So between 9th through 12th grade, not having to be here for lunch, as well as if you have a study hall or a class that does not have a final running, you don't need to be here for that part of it. Um, and also students, if you have a 945 final, it gets done at let's say 1045, you might be dismissed to leave. Well, your next final is not until 1210, you can leave. And so you don't need to be here in the cafeteria for lunch. And so historically, the lunch has been very small. Um, we obviously can move students to some places if need be. We do have some auxiliary areas that we can use for lunches. If we realize it's getting big, we will make sure that we are not fitting 600 kids into one lunch. That's not what we're going to do. Um, but what we do is we look back at historical data, historical trends, and we notice that our lunches are very small during finals week because this is the type of setup we have where 9th through 12th graders can leave. And also this year, if you don't have a final or you don't have, your teacher has not shared with you, you need to be there, then you can then you get to go home. Now there are students who have busing, who have transportation. For those students that need transportation, um, and you are sitting in study hall, the cafeteria, we will have somebody working there, so you can sit there. 
Um, but that is really the only time that there'll be students in that area is for um, if they have, if they don't have transportation, they can't leave and they have a study hall and they have to be here. It is not going to be where if I have a second period final, like it's done at 1045, I want to go hang out in the cafeteria for a half hour, that's not happening. Um, and you'll be removed and asked to go back to the class that you came from or leave the building and you cannot come back in until either lunch or the next period. So there is a lot of flexibility. As you can see, there's also 10 minutes between classes. That's in order to grab a quick snack, you know, walk in the hall and eat, get some water, use the restroom. Um, because once you get that final, you need to be focused on final. You're not taking a 20 minute bathroom break during a final. You're not going to go walk down to the cafe during the final and walk a lap. That's not happening. Um, you're going to be in your room during your final or you're going to be out of the building. Um, so know that these things are in place. We have uh, students who will be here for most of our finals. We have some students where their schedule matches up where they don't have much to do for finals, and that's okay. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, we do have an early dismissal, um, and that is we have two finals, and then we have an early dismissal time. Um, and so we, we get done early, and staff and students are, can, there's a lunch that's available. Um, the cafeteria, students could just leave. Transportation, the busing doesn't come till later. Now, one thing you'll notice on here is that finals get done at 140. And you're wondering, well, I take a bus and I am, I take a bus. I don't get out of here till 325. Yep, you got to wait in the cafeteria until 325. If you are taking a bus or you can leave. I mean, you, you certainly can go to a friend's house. You can leave. Your parents can pick you up. We are not saying you have to stay. What we're telling you is if you're choosing to take, if you have to take the bus, you have to wait till 325. There is no early bus. So every so then that dismissal makeups, that's if you have makeup work, if let's say you missed a final, if you need to get some other assessments done, hopefully you've coordinated that with your teacher. Those times are great opportunities to catch up and get some catch up work done with the teacher. You know, set that plan up tomorrow um, when you're in there for those, you know, 47 minutes. But those dismissal uh, makeups, that is time for makeups. Um, and then lunch is available on Friday and each day. So I know it's a little bit confusing, and I know that there are some that were showing concern um, around the lunch piece, but I assure you that based on historical data, if the lunch is not that big, one, because it's bigger, two, because of just the sheer fact that we can, we're letting ninth through 12th graders leave. I mean, if it gets done at 11, 15, their next one's not until 12, 10, they theoretically have 55 minutes to go get lunch somewhere, which is a lot of time to go get lunch or leave. Um, if they don't have a final second or third period, it's even bigger. If you don't have a final third or sixth period after, you know, after the second period, you're done for the day, essentially. So unless you have a makeup to do. So happy to answer questions. Feel free to please reach out to me. I know that um, it kind of come to there are some questions on social media. And, I, and I, I tell you, social media misses a lot of facts and misses a lot of information. And so this is not reach out to me. I'll get it to you. I'll explain it. But I felt like. There were, it kind of come to me, there's enough questions out there um, that I should probably address it. So tomorrow is a full day of all eight classes. Um, there's kind of your, if you're in your first lunch or you're in your second lunch, um, you can kind of see when that is. And then you've got sixth through eighth period, which is in the afternoon, no stat, no advisory tomorrow. And then Wednesday starts kind of that final schedule where there's first, second lunch, third period final, then makeups, fourth, fifth, lunch, six makeups, and then seven, eighth, and then lunch dismissal. And if you have questions or makeups after that too, you can certainly reach out to your teacher. So um, it is a very, it's a very serious week here in the building. We don't, I don't deal with messing around. If you can't handle, if you're wandering the halls, you're gonna be gone and you can be dismissed from your final for the rest of the day. You don't need to be here if, you, if you're gonna be messing around. So we, we take it serious, this is quiet. You've got plenty of time between classes. You can leave for lunch. You can leave for study hall and then you can leave after your final is done. There's no reason to be wandering, lingering, loitering around the halls here. Um, so know that if you we find you doing that and it's problematic, you'll be you will ask you to, you know, either sit in the office and you'll be done for the day. You don't want to put yourself in that position because um, this is a time where people are doing this very seriously. So um, again, feel reach out to have any questions and I look forward to seeing everybody this week. Thanks. Also, actually, one last thing. Sorry. Um, we have provided some flexibility. We know there's probably gonna be a variety of students out this week with COVID and for those with medical excused, not just because you want to extend the semester or because you think, yeah, you know, I, I need some extra time. If you have medical excused in this week because you weren't able to make it because of COVID, there is, you can extend out. 
Um, we've got some opportunities next week. You'll have to do it during your stat next week um, to get that done. So know that there, for those that are out with COVID, we've extended the grading window. It doesn't even extend the semester, and this is just for the students with that medical COVID exemption. They're out with COVID. If you're on vacation, I'm hoping you've already made that because we, we, we're not promoting people taking vacations during the week of finals because it's not a slough off week. Um, and so this is not a freebie week. You don't get that extension that those with COVID and who are medical excused out. You know, I'm hoping that you followed our board policy where you've reached out to teachers and made a plan. Um, so note that um, you, for those that are out COVID wondering what's going to happen, you will have time to make it up. If you will work this out, you'll be fine. Um, so we'll get through it. That's the last thing I want to share. Again, good luck this week, and we look forward to seeing everybody soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.